Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how you can create a speech-to-text Telegram bot in N8N. I will first show you on how the bot works and then afterwards I will show you step by step on how you can create this workflow yourself. So let's first move on to some examples on how the bot works. So we're now in Telegram. I will uh, say an example of how old is Elon Musk. Um, how old is Elon Musk? Then he's going to transcribe the video and it will send it uh, to Telegram. Elon Musk was born on June 28th of 1971 and he's 52 years old. So the bot works perfectly. So how can you create this bot? The first note that you're going to create is a on message Telegram trigger. In the trigger, you're gonna add your credentials. Uh, if you don't have a credential yet, you can just easily create it by create on new credential. You can open the docs. And as you can see here, N8N has a full explanation of how you can create your credential. After you did that, you uh, select your credential and then you put the trigger on, on message. This is a very important step because this makes sure that the message or the Telegram trigger can receive all, uh, all kinds of messages. So text, audio and images. For the next note, we're going to do a switch note. This is going to look if um, the, the prompt is a text, a audio or if there was an error. Uh, and I will first show you uh, the switch note. So in the switch note, we can see that I put a JSON message voice file ID and you just do a string and it's on exist. Let's for example say you get an audio message. Then it's gonna go through the switch, it's gonna go this path, and then you will do a telegram get a file. And then you first of all gotta uh, connect your credentials of course. Then for the resource it's gonna be file, operation get and then on the file id you're going to put a json message voice dot file id underscore id uh, you're also going to download it then you can just use an open ai whisper model to automatically transcribe the voice message that you have sent it will uh, yeah transcribe the recording and uh, you first of all got to connect uh, connect your credential of the open ai this is also very easy if you don't have a credential yet you can open the docs and N8N has a full explanation of how you can um, create your credential. After it transcribes the voice ID, it will send it to the AI agent. It will go through the prompt that you put into the AI agent and it will send a message back to Telegram and you will receive your message. Let's for example say your prompt is a text. Then it will go this path to the switch and I will first look into the switch on how you can set uh, the text prompt up. So what you're going to do, you can just copy this. The string is going to be on exist and you can rename the output again. After the switch, you're going to create a set note file. The set note file is very important as it makes sure that the outcome of the transcribed audio and the outcome of your text message will eventually be the same. This is important for the AI agent because you can just put a, a very simple JSON prompt into there. Um, which makes sure that you will get the same output and you don't have to connect the uh, telegram trigger and the transcribe audio. In the set node, we're going to do a mode manual mapping and the fields to set are text, uh, it is a string and json message.text. Then afterwards it will go to the AI agent and now we are coming to the prompt. I just made a very basic prompt, it is just an example. If you have a more advanced uh, AI agent or workflow, you can obviously enhance this prompt and you can reform it to your specific goal. Then after the AI agent created the response, it will send it to Telegram and you will uh, get the answer on the prompt that you put in. For the AI agent, you gotta connect a open AI chat model, of course. Uh, for this very basic uh, workflow, I just connected uh, GPT-40 Mini. It is just very fast, uh, very budget friendly. And I also added some window buffer because it will remember some of the previous messages that we have already sent. Then is there an error? You're gonna put in your switch, uh, name error exist. Then um, it's gonna go in this path into the error message and it's gonna say uh, an error has occurred and it will send it to uh, the telegram. This was a tutorial on how you can create the speech to text telegram bot in N8N. I hope it was useful and if you have any questions you can just uh, comment down below and I will answer all of the comments.